Welcome back to the performance video training series. In this video, we will continue the example system design by exploring the H control ID, presets, and mute matrix views. Each system view is designed to perform a specific function in the performance workflow. The H control ID view overlays the H control ID, or HCID for short, on top of each device in the workspace. HCIDs are numeric identifiers that can be used to quickly match physical devices in the real world with the virtual devices in our design. The hardware's ID is displayed on the LCD and can be pre-programmed in the software for auto-matching if desired. The process of managing the hardware's HCID will be covered in later videos. Until the hardware is matched to the physical devices, the ID shown is for the virtual device. When building a system in performance, H control IDs are automatically generated for new devices added to the workspace, starting with the number 101 and increasing sequentially by one per new device. To change an individual ID, we can double click the HCID on that device, or access it from the properties panel here. To simultaneously change an entire array to new sequential H control IDs, click here at the top of an array and select Edit H Control ID. Enter an HCID for the first device and click Yes. Devices will re ID sequentially. Additionally, you can sequentially reassign IDs by selecting the devices you want to re ID and set the first number in the Properties panel. Up until now, we have been working exclusively in the H control ID system view. Next, let's switch to the speaker preset view. Speaker preset view presents the available preset options for each respective system. More detail on an individual model's speaker presets can be found in the respective device's user manual. Zooming in, the left array is set to a full range preset, but can be changed to 80 Hz by clicking here. Given the array has more than three boxes, the array preset is the most appropriate and has automatically been selected. We can see the right array settings are mirrored to match the left because these arrays are part of a system group. Zooming in on the fills, we can change the crossover point to 80 Hz to match the mains. And this change is reflected in all four devices. Because each fill is an array of just one speaker, the fill preset has been selected automatically. Zooming in on the first subwoofer array, we will set the crossover to 80 Hz to match the mains and fill arrays. Underneath the crossover control on subwoofers is the orientation control. This switch changes the orientation of the subwoofer to match the physical device and loads the correct preset for cardioid subwoofer. No additional user configuration is required. More information on proper implementation of cardioid subwoofer arrays can always be found in the respective product's user manual. As these arrays are set to inside out symmetry, when we zoom out, we can see the rightmost subwoofer array in our group has also changed to match the first one. Next, the preset options of the inner subwoofer array are set to match that of the outer subwoofer arrays. When the system is matched and connected, the preset selections will be synchronized to the physical devices. Now that the speaker presets have been set, we can switch to the next view Mute Matrix. The mute matrix controls the mute state of each device by overlaying a series of mute toggles on band passes and offers grouped controls for arrays. When a device is first created in the software, it is set to be muted by default. Clicking on any mute control toggles the state of the mute. This yellow symbol indicates that something inside the group control is not consistent. In this case, some of the controls are muted and others are not. Clicking the icon sets the entire array to mute. When this system is matched and then connected, the mute state of the devices shown here will be pushed to the physical devices. Now that we have explored the system views in design mode, the next step is to connect to the physical devices and bring the system online. 